Absolute pleasure meeting you. Uh, do you think that a weather controlling system would be a good idea in real life? I think right now it might be a little much, but I think the way we're heading, without a doubt, it would be yeah. an amazing thing. <laughs> because we might not, it, it might be an existential question where we have to do that. Sure. There is no other way. And that's <laughs> kind of what happens in this movie. There's no choice. We yeah. have to do it. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, the reason you ask that question is, well, if you do it, <laughs> what does that leave you vulnerable to? And it seems nowadays with science, whatever we go, whatever we develop, yeah. it's so advanced now sure. and and so huge that we're automatically leaving ourselves vulnerable to, to other things. And, yeah. and in this movie, you can have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you do that. It's like in a movie like this, you can have a lot of fun with, with the vulnerabilities that would be left from this massive tool that's saving our planet, saving our environment. Sure. Um, that, well, well, what happens if that's weaponized? Yep. When you got the script, what was the first thing that just got you excited about it? Well, the, the, well, the first thing, because before you get to my character, was the science. Sure. Uh, and, 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 and that, and also the fact that it moved past global warming, said that happened, mm -hmm. you know, and then on top of that, but then you go, okay, well, what kind of movie are we in? And then you meet my, my, my character who's actually, he's a scientist, he's a bit geeky, but he's a bit of a badass, he's a bit outrageous, <laughs> he's a bit of a renegade, and he's a hero, but he doesn't really want to be a hero, nope. and, and he's kind of almost forced up there to fix this situation. Yeah. He'd rather stay down there and argue about, you know, how he got in his car, it's like, well, you know, so it, it was a very entertaining character to 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 play and 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 it allowed for the journey not just to be uh, stiffly heroic yeah but to be quite emotional as well sure as you watch him also going hey how do i do this and be a father yeah and how, and how do i deal with my brother who makes me crazy <laughs> but he's my boss in this expedition you know yeah um so yeah there was some really delicious stuff to get into there you've done a, a, a lot of you know different styles of genres in your career is there something you haven't done yet that you'd like to tackle no, I don't. I don't know. I feel yeah. like I've I've done most genres to to some extent. You know, sure. I think, I, I, you know, having just made a couple of dramas, I think that I want to get back into maybe different styles of, of, of dramatic films. Yeah. Um, and 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 I, I got to get away from beating the crap out of myself <laughs> for real. I just I, it's I got to start using this. Yeah. Well, you this. you you trained in Utah for three uh, for three hundred. And I'm curious, would you ever do that again? Or are you like, I'm done? No, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no, I, I am. I mean, I would train. Yeah. I never thought I would do um, the training to the extent of 300. Then I made Gods of Egypt. Yeah. And I went, I put on a lot of muscle for that. Then I said, I'm done. <laughs> and then I just made this movie, Den of Thieves. And I put on 27 pounds wow. of muscle and size for that. Um, and, and then I've lost the whole. I've lost 23 pounds since then. So it's. I keep saying I'm done, yeah. and and then I'm not. But I really <laughs> think this time I'm done in terms of going that far. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute pleasure meeting you, man. Okay. Thank you so Cheers. much.